Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you a quality of life change that can help you and most certainly has helped me in my usage of CMU. Okay, so the basic function of this video is going to show you how to create an EXE file that will allow you to launch whatever games you want straight from your desktop without having to open CMU and load your game manually. Before we get started, there are a few things that you are going to need. The first of these is CMU Emulator itself. Then we are going to need the game that you want to use. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be using The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the last thing you are going to need is a BAT to EXE file converter. For anybody who does not have any or all of these items, there will be links down in the description giving either a download location or a video guide showing how exactly to set up all of these. Let's swap over to desktop view and get started. The first thing you want to do is right click on your desktop and create a new folder. We do not need to rename this folder. Come into this folder and create a new text document. Let's just rename this document Breath of the Wild since that is the game we are going to be creating the EXE for. The next thing you need to do is you need to change the TXT to .bat. To do this, come to view and make sure file name extensions is clicked on. The next thing you want to do is rename again and change this txt to .bat and click enter. Click yes and change it. The next thing you want to do is right click on this and click edit. The value numbers we are about to enter are quite specific so pay close attention. You want to enter two quotation marks and then navigate over to where your CMU folder is. Mine is on my desktop here, I need to right click and click copy address. I want to paste this value in between these quotation marks. Once done, I need to come to the very end of the text and click backslash and enter cmu.exe. I need to come to the far side of the quotation marks, do a space and enter dash g. Space again and two more quotation marks. You then want to navigate over to wherever your game is installed. Mine is on CDisk, Helper EX, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Code. Click on code and enter copy address. You then want to paste this address back in between these quotation marks. After the word code, you once again need to enter backslash and enter the exact RPX file name that you have seen here. Mine is backslash uking.rpx. Please make note that your RPX file may be named differently, so make sure to check it within your own personal folders. If you wish to make CMU and your game launch in full screen, simply add dash F quotation mark. You can now go to file and click save. You can now close this folder. The next thing we need to do is open up our bat to exe converter. As I said, this will be linked down in the description. You need to click here and navigate over to where you have your bat file saved that we just created. Open it here, select invisible application. If you come over to version information here, you can assign a custom icon. I will have linked down in the description some custom icons that you can create. I'm going to use this one here. The next thing you need to do is click compile and we are basically done. You can now close this program and you can see here that my Breath of the Wild EXE has been created. Let's put it on my desktop and load it right now. As you can see, it worked perfectly and Breath of the Wild is now compiling its shaders. And there we go guys, we are now loaded into game from a single click of an EXE icon on our desktop. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.